Welcome back to The Express at Noggin's Brain Fitness in West Vancouver. Exercising and stimulating your brain is one way to improve your quality of life, and another way is to laugh. For over 10 years, audiences have been entertained by one of the zaniest improv troops in the Lower Mainland, and we invite you to pull up a chair to Table 23 in Coquitlam. <sighs> And the shows that we put on are, are a little bit different than what's going on everywhere else. Uh. Table 23 Improv is the troupe Coquitlam actor Graham Myers built back in high school. We take elements of long form, short form, and all the other stuff around us and we put it all into one show. So uh, we're not restricted to any kind of a style, we just do whatever we feel is going to be beneficial for the audience. <laughs> Table 23 Improv has entertained audiences since 1999, and now they can be found at their resident performing space in Lee Square Village, aptly named Second Story Theatre. The space also plays host to other improv teams in the area, along with Table 23's workshop program. We wanted to give young groups an opportunity that we didn't really have. Uh, when we did shows, there was nobody uh, opening a door and saying, hey, you want to do a show here? We would have to pay all the money uh, to rent the inlet or rent the um, Terry Fox Theater. Oh, yes. So the idea of the theater was to allow everybody to have an opportunity to be up on stage, no matter what skill level they're at or whatever it is. Table 23 member Jennifer Pilak was once just like the students the troupe helped foster. She credits her love for the art form of improv as her drive to go on stage night after night. You're always in the moment when you're doing improv and it's just constantly reacting, reacting to what's happening and the audience gets so entertained and surprised by that and that's just part of it all. We're very welcoming, we have a different take on things, different style, everyone's very warm. It's a perfect place to learn and start out because you have a lot of encouragement here. The energy at a Table 23 improv show is definitely infectious, but there's a few key elements that Graham attributes to Table 23's longevity over the years. The reason that we've been able to stay together is because we became more of a family than friends. Um, and I say that because I know that, you know, no matter what happens, we're always going to know each other and be around each other, but we're also very, very unique. Plus, we've been doing it for 11 years, so you can imagine the kind of chemistry that you have when you've been performing with the same people for that kind of time. It's that chemistry and that uniqueness of the individuals that makes it so awesome. With a stomach hurting from laughter, I'm Mana Mansoor in Coquitlam for The Express. If you want to catch Table 23 Improv in action, they perform every Wednesday night at Second Story Theatre in Coquitlam. Now we're heading to Burnaby next to feature mural master Todd Polich. He's created murals all over Metro Vancouver. And for his latest project, he's pulling out all the stops. I drew this one. Clara Abigail meticulously draws her salmon. Right there. We need somebody over in this area here. She's contributing to a mural in the works at Chaffee Burke Elementary School. Yeah, that's great. This project is called the Art of Empowerment, and the idea behind it is to encourage children to use their skills and their abilities to change the world around them. What do you think? A little bit bigger? Yeah. Around there? Yeah. Todd Polich is their mentor. He's an environmental artist, and murals are his specialty. This is our ocean, and then so we have the salmon spawning all the way up through this river. This particular project was based around uh, the West Coast Temperate Rainforest ecosystem. So what we wanted to do was have the, the ecosystem illustrated from one end of the wall to the other. That's great. That's perfect. It looks like the big crook nose of a spawning salmon, doesn't it? He's a great person. He's nice, and he's very um, creative in teaching people. So when we're painting, we're going very, very carefully. We're not in a rush, we're using nice fine strokes, okay? It will take a few weeks to complete this project, but students are hands-on at all times, whether they're drawing or painting. It kind of gives like kids and me kind of some way to express the feelings when you draw. It's representing that um, um, since there's a lot of trees in the mural and then we should take care of our environment because if not, like, we're not going to have any more salmon. So if you want, you can do it like along the tail line here. That enthusiasm, it's, it's just uh, electric. 
I do this one. When you can take that and bring it out to the wall and, and have them paint. I mean, it's a challenge at the same time, that level of enthusiasm, but you bring it out to the wall and they will sit here and they will paint the whole day if, they, if you let them. Put a beautiful, beautiful highlight on top of the fish there and it's showing that the light is coming down from above. For some participants, it's not just about the project. It's about the legacy they'll leave behind. I think of it as that it gives memories to people who will go to school here in the future. So then like there will be a part of myself in the mural. Step back and have a look at it from farther away. It looks awesome. We can see our fish. Is everybody happy with your work? In Burnaby, I'm Melanie Panetta for The Express. Todd hopes to expand the project to other schools around Burnaby. Why Chaffee Burke, you ask? Well, it's his daughter's school. You can get more information at the Earth Foundation website. You're watching The Express, and still to come, it's your chance to win that ITM model VIP giveaway. That's dinner, the fashion show, and the after party. Plus, learn from these healthy ideas. After the break, everyone will like to know that dark chocolate is good for you. Not only nutrition for your heart. noggin at the Brain Bar. Uh, Brain boost at the same time. Never run in my life. I've never been a runner. Team Diabetes champ, Stephen Jackson. The Express. We are your local voice. Community programming on Shaw has been generously sponsored in part by... Hairstyling and color services for Shaw TV. Provided by The Lounge Hair Studio. Loungehairstudio.com Almost four and a half million Canadians live with arthritis. It's a leading cause of pain and disability. Arthritis strikes young and old alike, and the burden of illness takes an enormous toll. The Canadian Arthritis Network is a not-for-profit organization that funds research and connects today's players in arthritis research. We're all working together so that today's arthritis research becomes tomorrow's cure. For more information, please visit arthritisnetwork.ca. Community programming on Shaw has been generously sponsored in part by... Makeup services for Shaw TV, provided by Beauty Mark. Today's generation of young people spend the least amount of time outside of any generation in human history. We need to have children out, we need to have people out, in order to see the world around that allows us to live I think something like the Sea to Sky Trail is the epitome of what we need to get people back out into the real world, to see nature as it can be, and something that we are a part of and that we must fight to protect. Welcome back to The Express at Noggins in West Vancouver with Penny. So it's all about brain fitness here, but not just that. You're making That's sure we right. get like the full experience of health. Yes, it's not just about mental stimulation, but it's a uh, brain healthy lifestyle includes uh, stress management, includes physical fitness, and socialization, <laughs> and good nutrition, including green tea, which Love happens it. to be the second best thing next to water that you could possibly drink. Wow, well, cheers to that. I like that. Um, and some other fun things here that I can have that'll make me healthier, yes, happier. Yes, at the Brain Bar, we have uh, purple juices, so mm. blueberries in particular are the highest in antioxidants, very good for your memory. And everyone will like to know that dark chocolate is good for you. Not only is it high in antioxidants, but it gives you a little uh, brain boost at the same time. And look at the smile on my face right now. Not, <laughs> at the brain bar, I'm being invited and told to eat chocolate. I Absolutely. love it, Penny. Thank you. And good. red wine. And red wine. And red wine. I don't sell red wine, but mm. I do sell red wine pills. So if you don't like the hangover from red wine, you can have... Uh, uh, one pill is equal to a hundred glasses of red wine. Oh my gosh, well that's and intense. It has a special ingredient called resveratol. That would be quite the hangover though, a hundred glasses. I think maybe the glass of wine with dinner still I'm okay, but yep. the hundred goblets, a little too much. <laughs>
It's such a neat idea to have the Brain Bar inside the store because then you're really taking it full circle. Yeah, well we encourage people to come and hang out and have a snack, have a drink, have a cup of tea and play some games. Did you notice that all of the products in the Noggins Brain Bar are Canadian? Most of them from BC. Pretty cool, hey? Well, we've got more healthy snacks and healthy lifestyles with our next story. Now, you've heard about the volcanic eruption in Iceland. The country will be making news again this summer for a very different reason. It's hosting a diabetes fundraiser that will raise hundreds of thousands of dollars for research. I'm going, but I'm not the only one. My day job basically is um, the vending manager here at Simon Fraser University. There's a reason Steven Jackson is motivated to keep his vending machine stocked with healthy snacks. I've been diabetic now for about uh, 30 years. Steven knows the benefits of a healthy lifestyle. He recently transformed himself from vending manager to super athlete. I've never run in my life. I've never been a runner. But Steven didn't let that stop him from joining Team Diabetes Half Marathon. One of the reasons that I'm doing this run is basically to better my own health, uh, as well as to add and support uh, diabetes research. Stephen wasn't the only one surprised by his decision to train for a 21 kilometer run. I, uh, I didn't believe him at first, and then he showed me the application, and then it hit me that, wow, finally, you're, that's great. Besides the grueling training, Stephen has to raise $6,100 to do the half marathon in Reykjavik, Iceland. I'm actually quite excited about going there. I've heard it's a beautiful, beautiful place. I'm doing um, a bunch of fundraising. I've done a pub night and that went really, really well. I have supported him with his fundraisers. I've been involved in each and every one of them, as well as giving him some money. I went online and donated. Stephen is close to fulfilling his fundraising and training goals. And his wife, well, she'll be busy cheering him on from across the world. It's going to be just beautiful. I'm, I'm so proud of him. I'm happy for him. I'm Bianca Salterbecki in Burnaby for The Express. If you'd like to help Stephen reach his fundraising goals, you can go to teamdiabetes.ca, hit the pledge button, and type in Stephen Jackson from Maple Ridge. Good luck to him. You're watching The Express, and it's time now for our Cultus Lake Big Summer Spotlight. Support the Shooting Stars Foundation and enjoy a night of entertainment with the highly anticipated Vegas-style drag show. It's back with all the glamour and hilarity you've come to expect. It's an old-fashioned fair with a multicultural flair. At the Collingwood Days Festival, you'll enjoy fantastic family entertainment, including the world-class BMX bike air show, storytelling in a teepee, a nature carnival, and a dog show. Secretly Women Productions presents Eurydice at Studio 16. Eurydice is a modern adaptation of the myth of Orpheus, but follows Eurydice and her descent to the underworld where she meets her father. Now it's time for that giveaway we've been promising. It's the ITM model VIP package. It includes the fashion show, dinner, and the after party. We're going to be taping on site. That's Thursday, June 2nd at the River Rock Show Theater. If you'd like to win, be the first correct emailer now, the express at shaw.ca, to name one of the main categories of brain fitness here at Noggins in West Vancouver. Good luck to you. That's it for today's show. We're going to leave you with the Art Club's hairspray, and we'll see you next time. To everybody.